everybody. Hello. Here we're going to make our final video on the process, and that is combining multiple sketches into one sketch. And it's essentially uh, showing you the importance and the versatility of the use tool. Okay? So take a look. I've got four sketches here. I've got the overall outline and the marks. I've got my text. I've got protractor marks. And I've got compass holes, okay? Four sketches. And I've even extruded the ruler, and this is important, <clears throat> extruded out 0.11, that's the thickness of the plastic, and then I've extruded my letters, my text, in, in, okay? And this is going to be important, and I'll show you why in a in, uh, in as we get going. Okay, so let's combine all this information into one sketch that we can then export into, uh, into that laser. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna make a new sketch. So I'm gonna click Sketch, and let's click this top surface here. I'm gonna normal up to it. Now in order to select the information, <clears throat> you need to turn uh, the sketches on Okay, so you turn the sketches on, and remember the use tool is right here. It's project. Okay, it projects details into your current sketch. Project edges or faces into the current sketch. So all we need to do is select the tool, and we're going to click and drag a box around everything. <clears throat> and you're going to see it's going to slowly bring everything into a new sketch. Let it think here. It's a lot of details. And then what we'll do is we'll turn all our sketches off, and you will see that we've got it all. Okay, so there it is. It says some entities could not be projected. Okay, that's fine. Let's close that. Now let's turn our sketches off. 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 We can even hide the part, the yellow part. Okay, now we're left with... A single sketch with all that information. <clears throat> okay, so there's a couple things I want to do to clean this up because we don't want these lines here. So M for trim. And I'm just going to go, and now you can, you know, make any changes. Okay, and I notice that it puts the boxes around the letters. All right, I don't want all these, all these boxes. That's going to be a pain to erase. So Here's what we're going to do. Let's just kill that. Cancel that. Let's turn this sketch on. Let's not turn the letter sketch on, but let's turn the protractor and the compass. Okay. And let's make our new sketch. Do it here. Now notice we're not going to have the boxes on, so when we project, we're not going to get all the boxes, we're just going to have the letters. So let's do that again. Project, drag a box around everything. It's just less to clean up later. That's why it's important to actually extrude those letters into the item. Because if you don't extrude the letters into an, a part, all you'll get is the boxes of the letters. You don't want the boxes, you want the actual letters. There, now we're going to have to clean up a million box lines around the, the text. So I'm using the M for trim, and I'm getting rid of the ex excess here. <clears throat> and we're going to have one. We're going to have one um, sketch that we can then export, as opposed to exporting all these things. So that's a handy way to get to the laser. All right, I don't need this line, nor do I need this or this. All right, N V O looks good. Let's keep going down here. I don't need this little line. These are little details, but you know what? I'm going to just roll with it. Three looks good. I think shift, command. Yeah, if you hold shift and control, you can use your arrow keys to slide. Shift and control and use your arrow keys to slide along here. Panning. That's a nice little adjustment. All right. So we've got all the good stuff in a sketch. I'm going to name the sketch uh, full. 
accept it. So now once again, if I hide everything, and even hide the part itself, you will see that we have a single sketch here with all the information. And then what you do, don't worry, those dots won't stay with us. You're going to two-finger click full here. You're going to export as a DXF. So click that. Give it your name, ruler, your name so we don't have any confusion. Okay, DXF. Uh, I would do release 11.12. That's what I always do. It's at the top of my list, so top version. And that's it. Export this. And this DXF file right here drops it onto my... There's a DXF file, and I'm going to put it onto my desktop. And you can hear that. There it goes. So now I have it, and I'm going to be able to put it in the right folder. Okay, folks, that's how we do it. Converting all this information into one sketch. So then we can throw that in the laser. All right, have a great day. Good luck. Ask me for any help you need. Bye.